we're looking at square roots now. So show ya, tell me, what did you do? And for the square root of 50, I got two factors of 50, which is 10 and 5. I still keep the square root. Now, I took factors from 10 and 5. Factors from 10 would be 5 and 2, because 5 times 2 is 10. And factors from 5 would be 1 and 5, because 5 times 1 is 5. Now, as I see, I see two 5s. I see 5 and 5. Therefore, I scratch those out. They, we know that it's going to be outside of the square root. And we have left 2 and 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And that's what's left in the square root. And this will be the answer. And so we have this rule about twins to get out. Yes, twins get out. And what that means is two of the same number, they go outside of the square root. Great. For 27, um, I got two factors again of 27, which would be 3 and 9. Um, we know that factors from 3 is 1 and 3. Factor in the square root of 9 is actually 3. Mm-hmm. What is it we see here? We see two threes, so we know it's going to be outside. All right. Well, the thing that helped us here, though, this is really 3 times 3. Yeah, it is yeah. 3 times 3. Let me add that. And there's your pair. And we have one three left. One mm-hmm. times three. One times three over here. We multiply that. It's three, which is why the three is inside of the square root. Great. Yeah, I see. Two hundred. Ooh. What now do we, we do? Now we know that a hundred times two, which is over here, equals two hundred. But the square root of a hundred is ten times ten. And Two is one times two. Now we see it, twins, a pair. So now we know it's going to be outside of the print of the square root, and we know one times two is uh, two. And that's what we're left with. That's and that's sure. what we're left with, and that's mm-hmm. what goes to the square root. And that's, that's why 10 square root radical of two is the answer for radical of 200. Mm-hmm. Ooh, root 72. This one's a little bit, well, I showed everything here, what you did. We know 72 is um, factored by 12 and 6. We still keep the square root. Now, more factors of, um, of 12 would be 3 and 4, because 4 times 3 is 12. And 3 and 2 for 6, because 3 times 2 is 6. Now, again, we notice a pair. So, therefore, we know 3 would be outside of the square root. Now, we notice over here is a 4. What makes 4? Because that could be broken down. 4 could be broken down into 2, 2. So, we have two twos and a 2 over here. So, in our parentheses, we'll have 3 times 3. In our square root, we'll have 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Take this pair out take this pair out and we're just left with one two so the two go that left two goes into the um, square root and of course three is left out because it was a pair and yeah, oh wait yeah, sorry you, you just have to make that a six make that a six because three times two yeah there was a two left that's it good